Hi guys and welcome to another Skyrim preview video. Now in this video I'm covering a mod called Gypsy Eyes Caravan and as you can see it is a carriage, a caravan, but it is also a player's home. This will actually function as a standard player home. You find it outside of Markarth and it will cost you 4,000 septims which is not too bad. You are going to need a horse to pull it and you click on it, you click on the home and hit the hitch horse function and it will hitch your horse to the caravan. Very cool. <laughs> now it is ready to ride. Now there are actually two ways of moving this carriage. You can activate it and mount. There is some clipping issues there and then drive along. Or, if I get off, you can also ride the horse. Which is another nice option. And I actually feel that riding the horse is slightly faster. Um, in fact, noticeably faster, I, I think. As you can see, the caravan does bump around a bit. Those of you who have ever tried scenic carriages know that is not a problem with this mod. It is an actual problem with the carriages in Skyrim. The physics on them is a little strange. And that is probably why Bethesda didn't have the carriage rides being the way they are in scenic carriages anyway. So that's not the mod author's fault. But there you go. You're now dragging your house behind you. Which is very cool. Now I can tell you that there are some glitches. If you fast travel, the, the home doesn't seem to follow with you. Um, so you're going to have to take the carriage with you and don't fast travel whilst riding the carriage i found that was really quite strange oh some imperial soldiers let's run them down with my carriage that's always armor. fun it's not that bad <laughs> so oops oh dear um <laughs> right so as you can see this is definitely for the sort of people who don't like to fast travel and like that immersive experience but, and like to have a player home that is easily accessible. Oh, and if you're wondering, when riding on the horseback, you can sprint and speed things up. So, it is actually reasonably fast way to travel. Um, it's a lot faster doing it like this than it is to ride the cart. Um, and I can tell you, right, riding the cart does have some other small issues in that it can be a tiny bit glitchy. Sometimes you find yourself running along and then suddenly uh, your horse will disconnect from the cart. Whereas when riding the horse itself, pulling the carriage behind you, I've not experienced any problems whatsoever. So, what do you do when you want to use it as a player home? Well, you find a suitable camping spot and the first thing you need to do is unhitch your horse. It cannot be unpacked with the horse hitched. And then, you go along to the back, I think. I don't actually think it matters where you do this, but I like to do it from the back because it looks a little better. And then unlock. And you get this brief switch as it adds stairs and a nice door that opens for you, which is very cool. Now the inside has got a lot of containers. Um, all of them marked for different things. And you have an arcane enchanter and an alchemy lab. So you've got a lot of storage space. A lot of storage space plus the functional desks for alchemy and enchanting. So that is very useful. But as you can see, there wasn't a lot else. There was no bed, no smelter, no cooking pot. But don't worry. If you go along to the side here, you can see these bundles. There is smithing gear and also a place to put your smithing goods. So if you want to store um, all your ore and that type of thing, you can put them in here. So, so you don't need to carry them with you all the time. And then click this and your smithing gear will be unpacked. It takes a few seconds and you will see it suddenly appear. Now it's quite compact, but it actually contains all the crafting areas that you need. There is a grindstone, an anvil, an armor workbench, and a tanner's rack. There is a wood chopping block, which is quite useful, especially if you're using Frostfall. 
And there is a smelting pot. This is not a cooking pot. This is a smelting pot for basically breaking down the ore and making ingots. Now, metallurgists are probably going a bit, I don't know, angry at the moment, saying you cannot smelt ore in such a pot. I don't know, maybe you can, maybe you can't. Uh, you know, it's probably a little difficult to take an immense smelting oven everywhere with you. Uh, and this gives you the same sort of feeling, so I don't mind it too much. I, perhaps it's not realistic, but in the end, you know, <laughs> it's very useful, and it looks kind of cool. Now, of course, if you are an immersion lover, if you are the sort of player who does like to use your player home for realistic things, you are probably going to need sleeping gear. And it does come with fully functioning sleeping gear and a cooking pot. You do pretty much the same as you did for the smelting gear. You activate it, it pushes you back a little bit, and then slowly builds the living area. And this has two cots. You can sit on them or sleep in them. And it has a cooking pot. It also has a couple of barrels for you to store all your raw food, uh, which makes it a lot easier if you're using things like realistic needs and diseases and you want to do, you know, do your cooking at the end of the day. It really does have everything you need in a player home with all the advantages that you get with using something like a tent. Um, and somehow it's a lot cooler. And of course, you can put a lot of items in storage here. If you are using Frostfall and you like to pitch tents as well as your caravan, you can do so and the tents will be warmed by the fires for the smelter and the one for the cooking. So it is completely functional fire, so to speak. It does warm you up and it will allow you to stay warm in those tents if you want to use those instead of the beds there. Mixing this with the tents from Frostfall make me think that, especially when it get, if you get out to a really cold area with lots of snow in the middle of the night, you're going to be able to set up a camp that will act as your player home and somehow feel unbelievably cozy. Like a really nice little camping area, not just for you, but for two or three followers, your horse, and so on. I really like the way this thing feels. One other useful feature about this mod is that the caravan itself, when you unpack it to become a player's home, as it is now, it gets a map marker and you can fast travel to it. So if you set up your camp somewhere and then go riding off with your horse and want to fast travel back, you can do that. This only works when the caravan is unpacked though. And of course, once you're done, once you've finished, the night's sleep, getting your food and so on, you just click the pack up and lock up and it will slowly pack itself up and you are ready to go. And then all you need to do is hitch up your horse and carry on your journey. Anyway guys, that's about it for this video. If you're an immersion freak like me, this is definitely a player home you should try out. Um, I have not been able to give it a thorough playtesting yet because my current playthrough is in Solstheim. So I'm going to have to wait till I get back to Skyrim to put this mod through its paces. But I think it's got a lot of potential. It's just, it's a little bit different. It's got that something special about it that could make this mod a classic. This is one of those I'm going to really watch and I, I really recommend people try out, give the mod author some feedback and let's see where this one will go. And to answer a question I know I'm going to get asked, what is this armor? It is the Vagabond Dusk Armor from the Immersive Armors mod. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. And until then, as always, have fun.